at the end all will be judged by love these are the words of saint john of the cross we all will be judged by love because we are capable of love we are all judged by love because god has loved us before we loved him as saint john would put it my dear brothers and sisters today's theme about francis saint francis xavier that he served everyone without any discrimination is a good thought for each one of us to reflect what inspired saint francis xavier to love everyone without discrimination is the thing that we need to reflect further in today's the today's readings give us a sense of what is going to happen at the end of time especially the first reading the first reading taken from the book of daniel has two parts the first part is both are uh, about the visions of uh, daniel the first part about the kingdoms the infighting kingdoms of the world and many kings they come in, in some places four some places three three times the kings who are fighting among themselves those who cause divisions those who further violence are depicted after that there is another vision where a heavenly court is depicted where the ancient one is sitting and at the end there is a son of a son of man who comes to judge the everything and every thing on this earth will have to subject themselves to this son of man this heavenly court that is given in uh, in the in, in the in the reading actually has a kind of a allusion to what is given in first kings chapter 22 in the book of prophet ezekiel chapter 1 isaiah chapter 6 where the entire heavenly court is present and at that heavenly court what happens is a record a, a scroll of record is given uh, for judging people according to their uh, doings whether they if they have done good they they get good reward they get the kingdom of god if they do if they have done something wrong they will have to have the uh, hell as their a reward it reminds us of what jesus has said in Mar- Ma- matthew chapter 25 the the whole uh, uh, the event about the judgment day and precisely in that parable where jesus said all are judged not by how much they have prayed how much they have uh, had faith all those things are secondary the first thing jesus is emphasizing how you have been to your neighbor because the love of god the love that god wants of us is of threefold one is loving god loving oneself and loving our neighbor and if we do not love all these three we are not worthy of that kingdom we are not able to stand at the judgment seat my dear brothers and sisters we might think that the judgment uh, time is is going to happen at the end of time surely there is a time at the end of the world at the end of this age there will be a, a general judgment but we do not know how it is going to happen we have only some indications that this will this will be the way as as it is being depicted in today's uh, first reading and as i said in matthew chapter 25 we have some glimpses of what is going to happen but but it is sure that we all as saint john the john of the cross said we all will be judged by love and this is what inspired saint francis xavier in 1542 there was a famine a severe famine in goa and he worked tirelessly to reach out to uh, to everyone and to provide uh, provisions for the people who what the whomever he could and secondly he in uh, in malacca he 
he served the people with a, with a self-giving love, those who were suffering from a small pox. What inspired, why these saints insist on love? Why these saints are going on love? Love is the only motive. In heaven, there is only one thing that is remaining. St. Thomas Aquinas says, till then, till we reach heaven, the knowledge, the intellect will work. But once we are in heaven, only love works. There is no other thing. When we are in the kingdom of God, or when we are in, when, when we are in heaven, only love works. There is nothing else works. No prayer, no faith, no hope, no, uh, no uh, trust, but only love, charity. My dear brothers and sisters, it is easy for us to think that at the end of our li my life, I can give some account of my doings, whether I have done good things or wrong, or I have done some, some bad things. But it is so much challenging to live our life in view of that kingdom with that love that has inspired the, the saints in our heart. It is very difficult because today we are living in a world that teaches us so much of self-love. So when when, it, when the uh, self love becomes too much, so much it becomes uh, selfish love. This world, this today's world, and today's philosophy of this world teaches us to love oneself even at the cost of the other person. What happens to the other person does not matter. But what what happens to me? And even if I do something, what benefit do I have? That is the philosophy that we are learning the today's world is teaching us it is true that uh, we need to love ourselves but even when we love ourselves at the cost of others we are violating the divine rule we are violating the lord who loved us he loved us and he gave himself up for us on the cross he shows us that how to love my brother and sister even at the cost of oneself, loving the other, he showed us. And that is what he is asking each one of us. Whether we are ready to love my brother, my sister, even giving up myself, giving up my desires, giving up my ambitions, giving up my comforts. That is the challenge that we are uh, given. Am, am I able to do that? The second thing that, that we see in today's world is that the purposely people cause divisions. Instead of love, enmity, animosity is growing all over the world. Everything, everything is because of selfishness. <clears throat> Whether it is my family or my community or my society or my country or my party, my region, my culture, even at the cost of the other, I am ready to excel. I am ready to satisfy my, uh, gratify my desires. If that is the case, we will never be able to love. We make our Lord defeated. The great lesson the Lord has taught us from the cross, the great lesson the saints have taken in their heart, with the, the, that grace, with the, at the same lesson, the saints lived in this world and showed us how to live, live in this world with that love and to reach heaven will be defeated. Today, the honor is on each one of us. It all depends on how we take this, this commandment of love, how we take the, the, saint, the saints' lessons for us, how we take St. Francis Xavier's uh, model for us. It is, depends on each one of us. And it, love is not just merely in words. It is surely in actions. And that love is not just to reach heaven alone. Even while living on this earth, this love can uh, cover multitudes of uh, sins. That is what the saints say. My dear brothers and sisters, let us live in the kingdom of God, as Jesus would say, today, now, here and, here and now, let us live. Unless we, we are able to live in this world now, in view of that kingdom, 
we will never be able to reach that kingdom we will be able to stand before the judgment seat surely everyone has to but to reach that heavenly kingdom of for which jesus came on this earth we will not be able to reach unless we begin to live our life in love